What's up guys, JR Raymond with BowlerX.com here inside MRB Classic Pro Shops in Classic Lanes in Rochester Hills, Michigan. I'm inside the Pro Shop to show you the different types of surfaces of bowling balls, what they're used for, and how you're going to decide which ball based on the surface that you're going to buy next at BowlerX.com. So stay tuned. All right, welcome back, guys. So one of the most difficult things is to try to decide what bowling ball you need in your bag based on the types of cover stock that the bowling ball has. Now, you saw in a video that I made before, we were able to take the numbers of the cores and kind of build an arsenal and build uh, a base of what you can see out of your bowling balls by a core number and be able to put them together in you know sequential order and try to figure out an arsenal that way. But that only took cover stock into consideration by a little bit. It wasn't really the main focus. The main focus on that was mostly about the core. So today we're going to talk a little bit about the differences in cover stock and what they can do for you and what they're meant to do out on the lanes. And the first one we're going to talk about is a solid cover bowling ball. A solid cover bowling ball is something that's one single material that is solid. It is one uh, more gritty type material that is going to have a little bit more traction, a little bit more um, kind of like snow tires. They're going to have snow tire type traction on them and be able to see the lane a little bit more uh, and not be so dramatic of a hook down lane. You're going to see it make its motion a little bit earlier and a little bit smoother in the in the front and the middle part of the lane. And that's going to be something like the ProMotion here. ProMotion is a solid cover, and you, you can tell the difference in most of these just by looking at it. It's more of a dull type surface. Now, granted, there is shinier solid cover stocks like this one here. This High Road X is a solid reactive cover stock, but they did shine it. So you can shine these bowling balls and get different reaction out of them. And that's what's cool. You can take like a true cut pad or any type of Aberlon pad and you can change the surface of them to make them hook earlier or later, depending on what you want to do. You know, so that solid type cover stock is going to be more, if you're seeing more oil on the lanes and you're having a hard time getting the ball to make its motion that you want it to make, then you can go and get yourself a more solid cover stock. Find a cover, solid cover stock bowling ball on bowlerx.com. And then when you're looking for something a little bit cleaner down lane, the lanes start to break down and that solid cover stock is starting to see the lane a little too quick and it's hooking up high through the face, you need to find something a little bit cleaner. You want to go to more like a pearl. So something like an IQ2 or Emerald here is a pearl cover stock. And you can, again, you can tell the difference. You can see the pearl swirl inside the cover stock. And all that is, is it's a smoother, cleaner type surface that's not going to see the friction on the lane as soon as something like a solid cover stock would. So we're going to use that uh, in the middle games or even later in the day where we need to see the ball float through the front or be super clean in the front and middle part of the lane and wait and delay the reaction until down lane. That's when we're going to want a pearl type cover stock there. So then you have uh, a, what we call a hybrid cover stock. Those are actually a mixture or a combination of the two. It's a solid cover mixed with a little bit of pearl in it. And those give you a different type of reaction. Those give you a little bit more cleanliness than what a solid gives you and not quite as far down lane as what a pearl gives you. So we would go to something like uh, the Hustle, uh, this one here, the Hustle HSB. That one is a hybrid type cover stock. And, and I'm pointing out a lot of storm bowling balls because that's just what we have on the shelf here at MRB Classic Pro Shop. He allows me to use his shop, uh, so I kind of have to use based on what kind of bowling balls he has on the shop here. He's a storm guy, so he loves his storm bowling balls. So we like to use an awful lot of the storm and roto grip type bowling balls for demonstration purposes. So for this purpose, this is your hybrid cover stock. You can see uh, it's got that same type of look as like an IQ, but this has more solid cover in it than what the any uh, than what uh, a typical bowling ball would have. This has a mixture of solid and pearl in it. So that's going to be something where we're in between the solid and the pearl, where we want to see something, still see the middle of the lane pretty well, but we don't want it to be completely crazy down lane. We don't want it to jerk off the back of the pattern. Or if we're getting to a point where we have to get far enough left, but we still needed to see the middle of the lane, start to hook a little bit sooner, uh, and we still want a little bit of down running reaction, that's when we go to a hybrid type cover stock. So the next time you walk into a shop or the next time you go to bowlerx.com, which is what I always recommend you do, and make sure you use discount code 
JRX, get yourself a small discount on whatever it is you need from BowlerX.com. When you head over there, take a look and really think about your game. What are the difficulties that you have? Do you have difficulties with, you know, bowling balls hooking too much? If so, then you may want to consider a hybrid or a pearl. Do you have difficulties with your bowling balls not hooking enough? Well, then you may want to consider trying to get a solid cover stock or taking one of your hybrid cover stock bowling balls and doling them up a little bit more to make them hook a little bit more. So I hope this helps you guys kind of understand a little bit of why there's different differences in the cover stock. And to be completely honest with you, the cover stock is the most important part of a bowling ball. It's not so much the core that we talked about before with the numbering system. It's mostly the cover stock because the cover stock is what actually touches the lane. The cover stock is that outer piece of the ball that is having the most connection with the lane. So that's what creates the friction. Now the engine inside is basically going to make it is going to tell you how quick uh, that that core is going to get into motion and how much it's going to go through the pins and how it's going to go through the pins. You can that's where layouts and all these other techni technicalities come into play on figuring out how you want to uh, attack the lanes with what types of surfaces, what types of layouts, and all that stuff. So we're going to kind of go into all this stuff, but for today. This is what we want to talk about. We want to talk about the surface that you want to use and how you can decide which bowling ball to go buy at BowlerX.com. So that's all I got for you today. I hope this helps you a little bit. Uh, make sure to subscribe to this channel. And if you've got questions or if you want to see something specific video-wise, hit me up in the comments below. Make a suggestion down there, and I'll try to come up with something for you uh, so that way people can see. Uh, and make sure to head over to my page, J.R. Raymond. And subscribe over there as well if you haven't already. It's going to be different content there than what we have over here. Uh, still obviously representing the Bowler X channel over there and trying to get everybody to come over here as well. So uh, just make sure to pay attention to that. And remember, use discount code JRX over at BowlerX.com. And until next time, guys, we'll see you later.